Let's discuss about the types of VPN. We do have side-to-side -side VPN, DM VPN, remote access VPN, and SSL clientless VPN. Now in the side-to-side -side VPN, we do have a uh, point-to-points, which is between any two points and multi-point, that means point-to-point -point connection with multiple devices and hub and spoke. So this is how the hub and spokes looks like have been spoke topology. Now DMVPN, yeah, it is very much uh, popular and very much flexible where you do have uh, capability of creating multi-tunnel. So now with this scenario over here, you see that I am having point-to-point -point connection with two, di uh, two different sites. So instead of that one were the DMVPN. So I'm using the hub and spoke over here. It's the same topology. So now in the DM VPN, what's happening in the site to site is that whenever the site one wants to communicate with site two, it is going via hub. So it does not have any other option, but with the DM VPN, what happens is like the first time the packet goes with the hub, but the second time you have the ability to configure saying that, okay, first time you go through me, the second time from the next time you go directly to the S2. So this is the capability of the DM VPN. So it can con connect to the multiple devices with multiple tunnel on a single tunnel. So the topology where you can say that I do have one, two or three device. So all can communicate using one single tunnel. That's the capability of DM VPN. Now remote access VPN, those are the client such as the VPN clients which you install in your PCs. With the Cisco, we do have something called as any connect client or any connect VPN. Now SSL clientless VPN is like if you don't want <clears throat> the user to provide you any client or anything, you just want them to access a particular IP address or the particular DNS name or FQDN name. And once they are able to access that one, a web page will be open and within that web page, it will ask you for the username and password. And after that, what are the access they have, they are able to do within that particular web page. So outside the web page, they don't have any capability. It's only within the web page. Like a normal website, you can say that one. But with the remote access VPN with the client, what happens is like it's actually going to match the traffic and it is actually going to encrypt the traffic. So that's the difference between these two. So if you are going to look into each and every single topology over here, and we will learn how to configure between using the Ike version one, as well as Ike version two. So I hope this was informative for you and- <laughs>